Hello, my name is Matt Downs. Uh, I'm doing my video project for chemistry on the mole concept. What is a mole? Well, a mole is a name for a specific number of things, like one dozen. One dozen of anything is equal to 12 of anything, or 12 things. So one dozen is equal to 12 things. Now, in chemistry, one mole is equal to 602 hexillion things. Six hundred and two hexillion things. One dozen is equal to twelve as as one mole is equal to six hundred two hexillion things. Now a, a common misconception that people have with talking and dealing with the mole is they think that a mole is equal to a molecule or molecules. That's not the case. You don't want to get mixed up with that. A mole does not equal molecules. Like we said before, one mole is equal to 602 hexillion things. Now, when you see this number, 602 hexillion, when you see this number, 602 hexillion, that's very intimidating, it's very scary to, to think, okay, well, that's a large number, how am I going to work with that? How am I going to put that in my calculator and figure out, you know, an answer for a, for a chemistry problem? Now, we want to put this into scientific notation to make it easier and prettier to work with. Now, the decimal point ends here, and to putting it into scientific notation, we want to put it in between 1 and 10. A nice number between 1 and 10, so here that would be 6. So we move the decimal point over to the left 23 times, and this equals out to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This number was made by a chemist named Avogadro. Now Avogadro made this number, he came up with this number as a way to specify how many moles of something how many moles are in something? This is equal to the mole. He came up with this number to specify how many of this is in a mole. Now, a problem we can work out in explaining this really quick is we're given 9.8 grams of hydrogen. Now, talking about moles of hydrogen, one mole of hydrogen is equal to 1.01 grams of hydrogen. So we see 9.8 grams of hydrogen here. We want to get rid of grams and, and, and finish with moles. We want, to get with, we want to get rid of grams and finish with moles. So moles will go up top, grams of hydrogen will go down bottom. We just said that one mole of hydrogen is equal to 1.01 grams of hydrogen. So one mole of hydrogen is equal to 1.01 grams of hydrogen. Now, 1 times 9.8 is equal to 9.8, so it'll be 9.8 over 1.01, .01, and that equals out to be 9.70 moles of hydrogen. 9.70 moles of hydrogen. Now, in figuring particles and using Avogadro's number, we can further say or calculate 9.70 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is equal to 5.84 times 10 to the 24th particles or atoms. Now, from this number, 9.8 grams of hydrogen, we finish off with 5.84 times 10 to the 24th atoms by using Avogadro's number. So in saying how many atoms we have here, we can conclude and say that there are this many atoms inside of this many grams of hydrogen, and all of that is possible from the mole. This concludes my presentation on the mole concept. Thank you.